Greetings, denizens of the internet. My name is Kaiju Fro of the Black Pants Legion, and today we bring you a very special event. Uh, the noble representative body of the Black Pants Legion, the Ponstrad, convenes to take up this debate. Should the Panstrad debate be open to the public through Twitch streaming? Public discourse in chat is encouraged and may affect the debate. All remarks should be addressed to the speaker directly, unless they are heckles. Uh, chairing this debate is the Right Honorable Zinthar. Uh, we also have the Right Honorable Will... Here, 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 here. Here, here, indeed. The Right Honorable indeed. Will, the Keeper of the Dead Memes. We also have with us Forced to Eat Pineapples on Pizza Stuka and Sire of Sons. We join the action now live from the Chamber of the Potstra, Mr. Speaker. Thank you, Kaiju. Ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered this convening of the Pansrad to discuss whether the WBPL should host future debates Zipply of the Pansrad. Zipply Fiber is internet for shit, people. Shit, Live streamers, hashtag tweeters. What? Sorry, do you Dance hear that streamers, right now? Multi-screeners. Uh, okay. Orange-gram tagging, zombie fragging, never lagging people. Mommy... There we go. Sorry. <laughs> Background stuff. Sorry. Very good. Sorry, technical support was not able to be here live today. So <laughs> I thought that was a strategy for argument. It was. <laughs> yes. I was like, you hear that? Yeah. Do you hear that? That's victory. It's the sound of democracy. <laughs> oh, democracy in progress, gentlemen. <laughs> oh, dear. Very well. Um, to continue, we will be doing the WBPL live or not. That is the question before the Pants Rod today. Uh, first of all, I believe we should go through and list the members, which we've already done, sorry. I have this pre-prepared. Let's move this over here. We should start with opening remarks. Will, would you like to lead us? Mr. Speaker, I would be honored. <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, honorable members of the House and assembled spectators, Today in this august chamber, we debate whether the proceedings of this august chamber ought to be made public, live to the greater legionary public. And Mr. Speaker, as guild master of the Meming Guild, let me state in no uncertain terms that I and the guild oppose this resolution. Boo. There is a famous quote, Mr. Speaker, that is attributed to Otto von Bismarck, and that quote is to the effect that people who enjoy laws and sausages ought to ensure they never learn how either is made. Mr. Speaker, let us not disillusion the greater legionary public as to how our particular sausage is made. Let us keep the proceedings of this chamber behind closed doors and off camera and let the results of our deliberations speak for themselves. Thank you. I yield the floor. Uh, powerful words from the uh, Meming Guild there. <clears throat> Mr. Stuka, uh, would you like to lead for the positive side? Yes, Mr. Speaker, I would. First of all, I feel that the Mr. Speaker couldn't recognize easily the plight of the common folk and how their their needs must be met and spoken upon and spoken to. And we should see to that, and we have obviously this space to do so in with, but they should also be kept abreast of what we speak on and how we come to terms with that and what we decide because to keep them into the dark is they're missing out a lot here here and it could be vital for their livelihoods here 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 they're there nothing of value <laughs> order use your gavel sir The gavel it seems so ineffective. <laughs> well, well done, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> Very good. We have a comment, uh, Mr. Kaiju. by the way. Oh. Praise Zorg. I think we've all forgotten that. Anyway. Ah, yes, of course. <laughs> In the name of Zorg, let all, here. all that be here be burned. Uh, the cookie to says, all our Mr. Speaker, it sounds as if the two sides are sausage and a breast. Uh, is this a fair assessment thus far? Right. Thus I far, I believe that we haven't <laughs> abreast. I, I believe a comment to that effect was made, Mr. Speaker. Oh, I see. Yes. Um, 
perhaps we need to continue with the debate so far and we'll see what we can come up with in terms of sausaging a breast. Mm. Mr. Kaiju, would you please continue for the negative? For the negative? Well, oh, sorry, for the positive. For the positive. Oh, well, hey, I could do the negative too. Uh, <laughs> but <laughs> I think that uh, uh, we all understand in this chamber that uh, democracy uh, really requires input from all the people. We can't very well have input from everyone if we silence the streaming of the BPL. That said, I, I rise on a question, sir. We're still in opening remarks. Uh, God damn it. I cannot the get the, uh, uh, the image of trying to motorboat a sausage out of my mind. Sorry. Um, anyway, <laughs> the, the thing that we have to do here is we need to bring our style of democracy to the people this open debate where we can all as friends discuss things and make binding resolutions and, and understand that this body has the power that we invest in it. And we can't invest any power in a body when we silence it and don't let anyone else have input. I yield the rest of my time. Here, here. <laughs> Thank you. Sire of Sons, would you please for the negative your opening remarks? Uh, yeah. So, the issue with being able to have a debate here among the Legion uh, does imply a certain prestige, nay, even a sort of a class elitism held by certain members of the Legion, which I think goes explicitly against even the founding principles uh, of the Legion, as put up, uh, forth by uh, Mr. Tex and uh, his his closest inner circle. I, I'm of the opinion that rather than having a specific debate, it would be far better to just allow everything to devolve into chaos. And here, that here. Chaos is ranks. where we can find Ooh. the best ideas put out. How much time do I have? Uh, up I missed to 10 that minutes. part. Up to 10 minutes. Oh, oh, okay. You see, when people sit around a table to discuss things, as we're doing right now, actually, uh, what can be found is that a lot of people will gravitate towards one opinion or another, similar to how they might do with a political party. But the issue that ends up happening is no one will quite align entirely with one person. So... In order to make sure that everyone's voices are truly heard, we have to have as many voices talking at once as possible. As many as that's why. Uh, yes, I, I would agree. Uh, currently, it appears to be uh, ten. I, I think we have a few more members in Legion than, than that, but yeah, you know, ten is ten is okay. At least uh, there's usually at least ten people online in voice chats. Uh, about any time that I take a look. So, it is in my opinion, then, that in order to hear the largest number of voices to be as fair as possible to every member of the Legion, we have to do way with any sort of structure or debate. And uh, that's uh, all I have. I shall yield the rest of my time. Thank you very much. A bold strategy. Very well. <laughs> Very well. I will open it up to the positive side to the first rebuttals. I I haven't had a butt yet, so I can't rebut. Uh, Stuka, boo yourself. <laughs> <laughs> um, there is something from the uh, from the gallery here. Uh, there's a lot of praises to Zorg. I think we can all understand that. Uh, Indeed, praise. praise Yes. There is, in fact, a movement from the gallery that uh, we burninate the cottages in the countryside. <laughs> uh, the the Meme Guild stands in favor of this movement, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> the Speaker shall take this under advisement, and we shall put it into a vote at a later time. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Very good. It is also As said to, here that um, Mr. Speaker, two sausages are required for most voting. Hmm. 
All right. Ah, I see. Yes, one for each breast. Yes. As is ordained. <laughs> Who currently has the floor? Uh, currently, the positive does, but we can move to the negative side for uh, additional comment if you would like. Yes, I yield the rest. I of would me. like to to yield. Yes, I do indeed have a comment, Mr. Speaker. Please, the speaker recognizes well. Mr. Speaker, uh, a member of the gallery, a uh, Spara Fusili, nineteen seventy eight reminds us that intelligence has nothing to do with politics. I am forced to agree with this statement. Mr. Speaker, much has been said this evening on the subject of democracy and transparency, but is I would ask the members opposite, is it not true that every nation has the government it deserves? Do the members opposite believe that the Legion deserves the pants rod? I believe that... Oh, sorry, you have to yield the rest of that. Oh, I, I, I yield, yes. That's, that's a question. Uh, yes, Mr. Speaker, I, I would like to take that up and say that uh, uh, I forgot what he said. Oh, yes. No. Uh, the, the... <laughs> Boo. No See, this is anything Mr. About Mr. Speaker, this is why we shouldn't televise order, these debates order. because of this. No. Oh, yes. Thank you. No. <laughs> no one ever said anything about the pants rod having any sort of intelligence at all. But don't we want to show people our lack of intelligence? I think so. I yield the rest of my time. Mr. Speaker. Uh, the Speaker recognizes as well. Mr. Speaker, I think the Men of Rev Opposites' uh, response to my question elo eloquently demonstrates why the proceedings of this august chamber ought not to be made live. I yield. Uh, I have a remark. Uh, the, ch the Speaker recognizes Stuka. Thank you, Honorable Zinthar. Um, I believe that promoting the brilliant stupidity that happens within the Black Pants Legion should not be sheltered from the good people who would derive great mirth from witnessing it. Are you? Here, here. Indeed. Mirth. Mr. Speaker. Mirth for all. Speaker rec recognizes well. Mr. Speaker, I would invite the member opposite to witness this hand eggplant. <laughs> order, order. <laughs> there will be no hand eggplants on the floor. <laughs> hand eggplant witnessed and returned. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Speaker, what are we really talking about here? This is the question. Should we stream debates? I think yes, but I think in order to do that, we need more debaters. We need master debaters. We need to masterfully debate. <laughs> and I think that we need... And we do. What? <laughs> we need to make sure that they aren't masticating while they're... While they're debating, yes. Debating. No mastication yes. while debating, but masterfully debating. We should all do that. Yes, no mastication without representation in debate. Yes. And uh, I, I move that we uh, elect a, um, a permanent uh, sort of streaming person that does this sort of thing. Though I do not want to put my hat in the ring. Point of personal preference. Uh, speaker recognizes Sire of Sons. In regards to the uh, comment on uh, masticating, uh, I can provide that uh, sound should should the uh, members here desire it. I hear you. Sire of Sons provides said sound. Say again. I propose uh, the August Sire of Sons provide said sound. Like I second this. Oh dear. <laughs> <clears throat> All right, I, I second the motion. Do I have a third and final? Here, here, Mr. Speaker. Oh. Motion carries. <laughs> <laughs> and may God have mercy on our souls. Oh. Talk about a rump, Harlan. <clears throat> well. <clears throat> Mm-hmm. Mastication. Uh, so, do we have a conclusion in this, or are we just going to go to an up and down vote? We don't really have enough people for that. Do we even? Does a quorum even exist for this sort of vote? 
Mr. Speaker, if I may. The Speaker recognizes as well. Mr. Speaker, it has been said that decisions are made by those who show up. Though we have only four members present in this august chamber this evening, I believe that any assemblage of the pants right is a sufficient quorum on which to vote. I yield my time. Here, here. Mr. Speaker. Speaker recognizes Sire of Sons. Yes, I, I disagree. There is far more than just four of us. I, I wouldn't count... Let's see, there is at least six of us in this voice channel alone. And then, how many people do we currently have uh, observing this? According to this, there is currently 54 members in the chat. Hmm. So, yeah, so we, we have far more than just four. And <clears throat> in keeping with uh, a long tradition of uh, playing such... Taking part in such events within the BPL, such as uh, Gardic Phone or Jackbox, the audience there, despite the number of people that is actually interacting with the most amount of UI within the game, the audience always has at least one vote. So I, I would propose that whatever we decide to vote on in order to debate other things and vote on further things, we should allow those viewing a single vote. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I move that we allow those viewing a single vote each. Mr. Speaker, this is starting to sound dangerously like democracy. <laughs> Acknowledged. We will put it to a democratic vote then. All in favor of giving them a single vote via a majority, aye or nay. Aye. 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 And all of the... No. Motion carries then. They shall receive one single vote. Well then, uh, Mr. Speaker, should we put it then to the gallery that they must come to a an agreement now between themselves? The 61 of them that there are. Indeed. What we will do is in the Twitch channel, if I can find how to do it, is make a prediction that says yay or nay, and we shall make it a votable thing. I you can, can bet on food as well. If you wouldn't mind, Diggs, that would be great. So yes. Uh, point no. of order, Mr. Speaker. Uh, the speaker recognized as well. Mr. Speaker, uh, it, is, it is customary to, to address the Sergeant at Arms by his title, the Honorable ah. Sergeant at Arms. Forgive me, Honorable Sergeant of Arms Diggs, if you would please set up that for us. What is the poll? Uh, it would be, should this debate be public, yes or no? And uh, during that time when the vote is up, I would ask the positive side to begin their closing remarks. Oh, that is actually... <laughs> Incorrect. I did a prediction on a poll. <laughs> That's okay. Uh, uh, what's what's the difference? <laughs> Sorry, one is they spend more money to win. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I, I, I mean, I think that's that's a pretty incisive commentary on the nature of politics, Mr. Speaker. <laughs> <laughs> the Speaker would agree that that is usually how politics works. Uh, uh, Headsman, did you want to take the first one or the last? If you want to send it, I'll get your back. All right. Uh, <clears throat> honorable members of the Pants Rod, let us be clear. We have a community of, a community of people, and we through our positions as representatives, uh, debate things necessary for that community. Take the right, uh, take the uh, uh, force to eat pineapple on pizza, Stuka. The outcome of one of our debates was that he is now forced to eat pineapple on pizza, despite the fact he's allergic to it. This is the sort of thing democracy, uh, uh, rather, this is the sort of uh, democratic issue that needs to be put to a wider vote because let's face it, he was only forced to eat that pineapple because we all liked uh, to, to stick it to him in the debate. So I move that we air these out in the open so that we don't necessarily get so many resolutions that uh, are overly uh, uh, harsh to those who lose. Because there would be a check and balance, the, the check in this case being 
public opinion. I yield the rest of my time. Uh, point of personal order. Hmm. The speaker recognizes Hedgeman Stuka. I am not allergic. I, although, am forced to, by Pants Rad, uh, decree, I do go and I eat pineapple pizza. I try it everywhere. Everywhere I can. And I hate it. You weren't the one who was But I do that. No, I'm not. I wasn't allergic. Um, that would be... Oh, bloody hell. It was the other guy. Um, it was Plum together. It was me. <laughs> it was the man with the braces! <laughs> mm. Okay. But, uh, to follow your point, I put it to our respectable rabble audience. Take great care in making your vote, for it will count. I yield my time. Thank you. Uh, the negative team, would you care to end your, enter your closing remarks, please? I shall speak, Mr. Speaker. Chair, the speaker recognizes Mr. Will. Mr. Speaker, publicizing the proceedings of this chamber risks tainting them with the greasy specter of that which is popular rather than that which is right. The members of this house should be free to debate and deliberate on matters without being influenced by the outside public. Furthermore, Mr. Speaker, the proceedings of this chamber are, are quite frankly a shambles, and I fear it would do much to undermine the legitimacy of this institution if the greater legionary public were to learn just how little any of us know what we are doing. I shall reiterate once more to the assembled audience, take care you do not learn how the sausage is made. Sometimes ignorance is preferred. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I have rebuttal. Uh, point of order, Mr. Speaker. There can be no rebuttals to closing statements. May I call a point of personal order, then? You may. The Speaker recognizes the Stuka. May I suggest that we'll taint this and eggplant? Order, Mr. Speaker, order. may I rebut this rebuttal to my <laughs> closing statement? You may, Will. Um, no, you. <laughs> mm, uh, a point of uh, a question. A, a point of information? <laughs> point of information, yes, I had forgotten. Thank you. Point uh, of information. Uh, speaker recognizes Sire of Sons. Who's my teammate? Should be uh, that would be, it would be me, Mr. Speaker. Ah, <laughs> uh, okay. Yeah, yes. <clears throat> I am very familiar with my position. May I take the floor? You may. The Speaker recognizes the Sire of Sons. Yes. Uh, to close on this uh, issue, I, I, I would strongly agree uh, that... Uh, granted, I am coming from a different perspective and a different position, that allowing such a small number of people to stream a debate uh, does wield considerable influence over the personal feelings and opinions of the BPL members at large. It would be better, I, I do agree, to not stream such a debate and put it behind some sort of a gate, almost uh, doors that are closed, if you will. Um... And then allow the the populace at large to have their own debates, disconnected from what the Pansrad is discussing, that will have absolutely no impact whatsoever. Don't uh, uh, question the, the people should not colleagues. concern themselves with it. Uh, yes, um, <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, didn't did we not have? I, sorry, no, Mr. Speaker, I would ask my honorable colleague, did we not have doors to this chamber at one point? Yes, we did indeed. Uh, however, there were some people with crowbars and ruffians who have removed the doors and possibly sold them or used them as firewood. So, Mr. Speaker, what I'm hearing is that this is all Squick's fault. That is correct. We do not <laughs> assign blame until the court case is resolved, but this is true. He is currently not here, too. Hmm. Well, Mr. Speaker, it's a shame he's not here to defend himself. Yes, those people who are not here to defend themselves are guilty. 
I did say, Mr. Speedy, that our decisions are made by those who show up. Indeed. <laughs> I move that we uh, vote on the matter at hand. Here, here. Seconded. So it appears that well. uh, the uh, the outcome of the vote from the gallery was that they would in fact uh, say yes to having one vote as the gallery. Now we need to put it to a vote for them of which they prefer, open or close. And we must vote the same, I think, Mr. Speaker. But that's up to you. Indeed. So I believe we shall put another vote into the chat for them to vote again. In the meantime, to the honorable members of the Pantrad gathered here today, the question posed to you at this very point in time is, shall we have these debates broadcast publicly within the WBPL 76? Yay or nay? I put it to you now to vote. Yay. Nay. <laughs> Anybody else? Is that, yeah. is that an abstain? I vote yay. I, I vote nay. Which ties it up. We will wait for the uh, chat to finish their voting. And at that time, I will give a closing statement. Uh, I don't believe there is currently a poll available to the chat. Doesn't look like there is, no. Uh, See, Mr. S this is why this is why democracy should not be made public, Mr. Speaker, because we screwed up. Indeed, <clears throat> Mr. Speaker, it appears that the sergeant, the honourable Sergeant in Arms, uh, Mr. Diggs, has placed a poll. Yes, and I put one up earlier, but it was before you guys started voting, and they all said yay, except two. That I think, yes. that, yeah. Well, either way, if they vote yay at this one then it's carried it can it appears we have a majority of respondents in the poll Mr. Speaker and it appears to be a landslide for the yay vote very good that will make it three for the affirmative two for the negative the motion carries boo the pants rod <laughs> shall be broadcast live in future sessions boo this is an attack on democracy wait <laughs> we're airing Indeed. democracy let it all be seen. Do this, hand egg plant. <laughs> Very well. As the speaker, I shall now issue a closing statement. Mr. Like speaker, one final point of business. Uh, the speaker recognizes Will. Mr. Right speaker, honorable Will. Gilly Monster 18 of the chat uh, remarks that if there are no powdered wigs, the session is a sham and should be dismissed until such time as all participants have powdered wigs. I am forced to agree. I uh, second. I, uh, <laughs> I, I believe that our original uh, charter said that we just all must wear pants. Indeed. Well, if that's the case, Mr. Speaker, I am currently in violation of the charter. The uh, <laughs> well, then your as, vote is nullified. As, as is the Speaker. <laughs> the Speaker will allow his vote to go through as he is also not wearing pants, but regardless. <laughs> this whole thing is a sham. <laughs> <laughs> we did have been. a resolution for hats but the hat resolution was shut down <laughs> as a result that does include wigs and any form of headdress we can readdress this at a later point I'll powder your pants here, here. that's how I get them oh, on the morning idea, powder anyway. pants. Yeah, does talcum start, powder constitute out. pants point of information uh, Mr. Speaker uh, how did we define pants Pants have Ooh. not been fully defined. Um, one would argue that perhaps a kilt is pants, as it is not a dress. I would like to uh, make a uh, motion that we uh, define pants. I second that. This. There could not possibly be any more fitting a resolution for this great house. Indeed. Ow. We will add that to the bill, and it shall be into the voting of what the next topic shall be. Excellent. Very well. Mr. Speaker, if there is no further business, I move we adjourn the House. 
Here, here. Very good. Second. Second. Okay, with that overwhelming vote, we will cease the Pansrad and conclude this business today saying that, yes, we will broadcast all future Pansrads on the WPBL channel. Here, here. Here, here. I would like to thank all who attended, and I would like to thank everyone who came out. It has been a wonderful experience, and I look forward to more. Whether or not I am still the speaker at that time seems will be uh, decided at a later date. Thank you all so much for attending, and good night. Thank you. <gasps> <laughs> the table what has hell? been flipped. <laughs> the table has been flipped. Chaos reigns. <laughs> <laughs> Cut the feed. Cut the feed.